a group of police officers are sitting outside a woman's house after she murdered her husband. One calls dispatch and says, we got a woman armed with a knife in here and she just killed her husband. Dispatch says, do you know why she killed her husband? The officer replies, yeah, she told him not to step on the floor right after she mopped and he stepped on it anyway. Dispatch asks, well, do you have her in custody yet? No, not yet, the officer says. Dispatch says, why not? The officer hesitates for a moment, then finally replies, well, the floor still looks wet. <laughs> a police officer pulls over a speeding car. The officer says, I clocked you at 80 miles per hour, sir. The driver replies, gee, officer, I had it on cruise control at 60. Perhaps your radar gun needs calibrating, not looking up from her knitting. The driver's wife says, now don't be silly, dear. You know that this car doesn't have cruise control. As the officer writes out the ticket, the driver looks over at his wife and growls. Can't you please keep your mouth shut for once? The wife smiles demurely and says, well, dear, you should be thankful. Your radar detector went off when it did, or your speed would have been higher. As the officer makes out, the second ticket for the illegal radar detector, the man glowers at his wife and says through clenched teeth, Woman, can't you keep your mouth shut? The officer frowns and says, And I notice that you're not wearing your seatbelt, sir. That's an automatic $75 fine. The driver says, Yeah, well, you see, officer, I had it on, but I took it off. When you pulled me over so that I could get my license out of my back pocket, the wife says, Now, dear, you know very well that you didn't have your seatbelt on. You never wear your seatbelt when you're driving. And as the police officer is writing out the third ticket, the driver turns to his wife and barks, Will you please be quiet? The officer looks over at the woman and asks, Does your husband always talk to you this way, ma'am? She replies, Only when he's been drinking. <laughs> Late one night, a police officer was patrolling a desolate area popular with young couples doing more than just sitting in the dark. Catching his attention was a couple in a car with the interior light on. Moving closer, the cop could see a young man behind the steering wheel reading a newspaper. In the back seat, a young blonde was knitting. The lawman walked up to the vehicle and knocked on the driver's side window. The startled lad rolled it down and said, Yes, officer. What are you doing? The cop asked. Isn't it obvious? The young man replied, I'm reading today's newspaper. Pointing to the blonde in the back seat, the policeman grunted, And what's she doing? I believe she's knitting a sweater. The guy behind the wheel responded. How old are you? The cop inquired. I'm 22, officer. And the girl, how old is she? The dude in the driver's seat looked at his watch and said, She'll turn 18 in 10 minutes. <laughs> a circus performer is driving home after a long day of training when he is pulled over by a police officer for a broken light. The officer looks in the car and sees a collection of knives in the back seat. Sir, he says, why do you have all those knives? They're for my juggling act. The circus performer replies, I don't believe you, says the cop. Prove it. So the performer gets out of his car and begins juggling the knives flawlessly. Just at that moment, a car with two guys in it drives by. Wow, says one to the other. I'm glad I quit drinking. These new sobriety tests are hard. <laughs> a blonde was speeding when a local police officer pulled her over and walked up to the car. The officer also happened to be a blonde and she asked for the blonde's driver's license. The driver searched frantically in her purse for a while and finally said to the blonde policewoman, what does a driver's license look like? Irritated, the blonde cop said, you dummy, it's got your picture on it. The blonde driver frantically searched her purse again and found a small rectangular mirror down at the bottom. She held it up to her face and said, Aha! This must be my driver's license and handed it to the blonde policewoman. The blonde cop looked in the mirror, handed it back to the driver and said, You're free to go. And if I had known you were a police officer too, 
we could have avoided all of this. <laughs> he phone rings at the local police station. Hello, I'm calling to report my neighbour Craig. He is hiding marijuana inside his firewood. Thank you very much for the call, sir. The next day, policemen descend on the neighbour's house. They search the shed where the firewood is kept. Using axes, they bust open every piece of wood but find no marijuana. They swear at the neighbours and leave. The phone rings at the neighbour's house. Hey, Craig, did the police come? Yep. Did they chop your firewood? Sure did, Eric, thanks. Great. Now it's your turn to call. I need my garden ploughed. <laughs> One day, a man was stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic and he really had to take a shit. So he got out of his car and went over to a bush and took a shit in his hat. He couldn't leave his hat there because he had his name on it. He took his hat and on the way to his car, he saw a policeman. He covered the hat with his hand. The police officer came over and asked him what was in the hat. The guy said, it's a hurt bird. The police officer said, let me see the bird. The man said, I can't if I take my hand away, it will fly away. The police officer said, let me see the bird. The man said, I can't if I take my hand away, it will fly away. They kept that up for about five minutes. Then the police officer got mad and asked him one more time. Take your hand away and I will reach in really fast and the bird won't fly away. The guy said, all right, and he slowly removed his hand. The police officer reached in and grabbed a handful of shit and asked the man, what is this? The man replied, you scared the shit out of the bird. <laughs> a senior citizen drove his brand new Mercedes to 100 miles per hour. Looking in his rear view mirror, he saw a police car behind him. He floored it to 140, then a 150, then 170. Suddenly he thought, I'm too old for this nonsense. So he pulled over to the side of the road and waited for the police car to catch up with him. The officer walked up to him, looked at his watch and said, Sir, my shift ends in 10 minutes. Today is Friday and I'm taking off for the weekend. If you can give me a good reason that I've never heard before for why you were speeding, I'll let you go. The man looked very seriously at the policeman and replied, Years ago, my wife ran off with a policeman. I thought you were bringing her back. <laughs> my friends, if you want to watch other funny jokes, subscribe to the channel.